Team Red still looking for new people. Alright, oh, Team Red actually did get new people. Like, two new people already. Gok and Lego Batman. <laughs> His name is Lego Batman. Wait, this new's name in Russian is Lego Batman. Did this guy play before? I could be wrong. Team Red is lacking one guy. It's gonna be Athaman on Team Blue though. I think he's leading the charge. We got ourselves Light's Path in there as well. Is he playing the OP weapon? We'll find out if it's any good. Omega playing some Feral Xan with a triple red. Can we not do too many reds, boys? And Zoots, it's literally Feral and Red Fiesta on Team Blue versus Team Red, which is missing one guy, but it's okay. It looks like, oh, they got the last guy. It looks like it's gonna be maybe like a Batman. We got also Kairos. Dude, Red Pallies for days. If you don't think Red Pallies is the most busted class ever, then why do we have so many Red Pallies in this duels? Lego opened it up onto Atho off the bat. Atho, pretty sure, is still playing that adaptation play style. We'll see how well that goes out for him. That's going to be actually a... a, a uh, Shield of Vengeance coming out for Lego Batman early, actually popping back into Atho, and Atho is not looking that healthy anymore. That shield just popped in his face. They just should get an out of a Lego Batman though. As is trying to turn the damage around, Lego is just struck a damage at him. Gonna go for a flash of light while he is out of reach. Actually, drop someone, cast and down he goes. No bubble available. Lego Batman just overstayed his welcome in there. Should have backed up maybe a little bit. Should have just stopped casting, pressed the bubble. Down goes Venruki just like that. Like a Batman bails out of that. Good spec is up next. Letting Athaman heal up, man. That's going to be an honor duel. Athaman just used his Shield of Vengeance. His wings are down. Might have minute long wings available. But it's going to be at least the closest duel. And like a good spec is just, you know what? I don't know if I can win, man. I don't know if I can win. Give it your best shot, good spec. Give it your best shot. Athaman exchange of blows with good spec. Hand of freedom as good spec. Trying to get up in there. Forces out. He's drinking though as Athaman hodges him on his wings. That's gonna be tricky down for good spec for quite a bit. Athaman still healthy with that bubble and bob. That's gonna be adaptation back up for Athos. So the next Hodge is gonna be able to bail out of it. Can play around it. Does get himself a heal. Now that's gonna be a perfect Hodge as he gets a slow onto good spec. But good spec is gonna chase him back behind the pillar with a mount. You need to get yourself a mount buff, man. Or get yourself a hand of freedom a little bit early. That's gonna be Athos though still behind as good spec still has wings rolling. Wings do fade away. So Athos can maybe make a play right here. That's gonna be shield of vengeance for good spec right now hodge coming down that's gonna be good spec forced out bubble right now at the man forcing out everything out of this guy and still able to land a few flash of lights that's gonna be good spec though shield of vengeance is still up wait to explode pops it away so good spec is down on cooldowns massively i think he's done i think he's done i think he realized exactly what he's done i think he's over at the man you know how to do it man execute him yeah he knows he made a mistake he knows he made a mistake because Atherman just has him. Down he goes. At least, look at that. He got the honorable title. At least he's honorable about it. You know what? I know I made a mistake. Here's my head, my lord. Here's my head, my lord. That's going to be Gawk up next. Trying to see if he can turn around onto Athel, though. Adaptation back up and running. Trick inside of his Hodge immediately. Atherman hasn't even had wings up and running. So he could wait for the next Hodge to set up a one shot wombo combo into Gawk as Gawk gets back in there as a big old Pandaren. Swinging his weapons. Actually, pretty good Mog look over there, my guy. Honestly, I know we're playing VP in here, but I want to do some fashion, fashion, world of fashion crap. That's how old your weapons with the crown of a thousand truths and a golden power ranger suit obviously i know my mogs guys that's gonna be actually healed for god because bob comes up for atho does get reflected up and running as i gonna reflect it no atho actually goes for physical ability sniping out gog while we were repping his mog atho man wings when a battle pops are wings you better be afraid man you better do something about it x is going to be able to get that adaptation out of atho atho still looking pretty healthy though no bop available shield of vengeance big hill available and it's gonna have bubble so it's still pretty deadly to deal with. Does get a trick out of X8. Everybody trickets out of that first Hodge as Atho doesn't even go offensive at them. Shield of Vengeance coming in early as he gets a Vendetta up and running. Atho has a in the palm of his hand. Atho even tried to cast in his face to see if X8 maybe will shadow step. Did that shield pop in his face? Hard to tell, but that's going to be evasion out of X8 as he's not looking good anymore. Malad to fall into X8. Does he clock a shadow? It does clock, but a little bit late. So the damage still does go through. Evasion is going to be down in a bit. Is going to be able to get anything. That's going to be a bubble coming down for Atherman. And that's going to be a vanish out of x as she death procs. At least he's able to get a bubble out of Atho. 
if XA can wait it out, get yourself a reset, play very carefully. He actually could do something here. Atherman is going to pick it up the eyes. It's going to be cheap shot. XA maybe should have went for a sap wombo combo. I guess he wanted to go for stun before that adaptation goes down. Atherman is going to be breaking out over the human racial. It does snap out the rogue. Next up is going to be Karos. Next and last to go, man. Another Gladiator Paladin going up versus Atho. Shilovich is coming up a little bit early, and Atho is just going to get a slow on him. Karos, you got to feed him rolling. There you go, my boy. There you go. Atho, man, is actually kind of behind on cooldowns for a bit. Does get a hodge into Karos. He's not trinketing. He learned from everybody else. He's not trinketing that. Shilovich was used. But he's not going to trink at that. He's not going to put himself in a bad situation like that. So for Atherman, this is going to be a bit of an actual fight here, man. He does have adaptation, so he's going to be able to get out of next Hodge immediately. And there's about a minute before the next Hodge is trinketable. Karos, though, is going to have that trinket for the next setup. So he can just wait until Atherman popping big wings with a stun. Then there's going to be big damage. Atherman getting hit with a Maudic. Is Karos going to go for big damage? It's going to be wings up and running. Next stun. Atherman is just going to be able to bail out of it. Atherman is actually going to get counter offensive with Karos. Who's going to get the bubble early? Karos got a bubble right there. No! Atherman just obliterated through him. In his global, he decided to go for damage. Oh my god. In his global, he decided to go for damage. Why would you do that? My man! Oh my god. Obliterated. Decimated. Give it another five minutes, boys. Well played, Atho, by the way. Well played, my man. You played that really. I like how he plays against other paladins. Like, he forces everything out of him.